But we're going to work on what's called a rodeo ride, okay? And there, there are kind of two or three levels to it, so we're going to work on the first basis of it. So the point of the rodeo ride is it's kind of like, you know, like uh, I'm riding a wild bull or a wild horse or something in the rodeo and I want to stay on his back. I never want to get off his back. I don't want him to buck me off. So that's why it's called a rodeo ride. It's, it's a good way to, to learn how to control them with your feet and your lower extremities, to control his lower extremities. Earlier we were talking about, you know, you start a lot of your chokes and your strangles with your legs. And this is what I mean by this, okay? So, we're rolling around, and if I can control his lower extremities, his hips and legs, I can much better control his upper body too, okay? So what I'm going to do, to start, we're going to do what we call a seated rodeo ride. I'm going to seat it behind him. Now, I don't want to cross my ankles ever, okay, because I limit my movement, and if you were, it's not legal in judo, but in some sports or some grappling sports, he can do an ankle lock on me, and I, I don't want that to happen. So I want to use my feet, and I'm going to use them like weapons, okay? So I'm going to keep my feet hooked in here and controlled right in here like this. So I dig my feet, and don't just let them flop there. Use them. Be very active with your feet. Leg wrestling, okay? All right, now, I'm controlling them here. My hands... So that controls his hips and legs. And now I'm controlling his shoulders as well. So in judo, we have a, a very practical, good theory called shi ho, four corners. Shi, four ho, corners. The two corners of the shoulders, two shoulders, and two hips. Those are the four corners of the human body. And I want to control those four corners. And a good way to do that, and when I'm doing grappling movements you know, on the ground here, and a good way to do this this, this way here. So I'll control the shoulders and hips. So this is the rodeo ride to start. Now, his job is going to, he, he would try to pull, pull my feet off, get loose, and I don't want that to happen. I want to be on him, and I want to stay on him. I never want to get off his back, because what I'm going to do, I'm going to start working the choke, you know, start working the chokes, but I'm, from here I can do swing over, do arm locks, do a lot of stuff from this position, okay? So we're going to start with this very basic level, the seated rodeo ride, and you see, you know, he's on his butt, I hook my feet in, control the shoulders, and stay on them, all right? That's the seated rodeo ride, okay? A lot of times they'll be waiting for the referee to call Mate, okay? So she's waiting for the referee to get her out of trouble. If they lay there, okay, that tells you, go to work on it. Go to work right away. He sees this situation. This is real basic stuff, but what basics work, okay? He's going to step over her. He's going to pull up on her belt. He's going to get his hooks in, flatten around, okay? All right, now he's going to keep driving forward, and he's going to roll in, and he's going to get that choke and get the tap out, okay? All right, go back here so we go. All right, so here it is. She's, she's, she's belly down. She's hiding. He pulls up. He gets the hooks in, flattens out, finger up in the air. He starts digging in, and he goes for that choke, the dock at your back, okay? You can go to square choke, square grip, or figure four, either one. There are other chokes you can use, but the hadaki jume, the naked choke, is really one of the most efficient way to do it. It's very quick and fast. Okay. Everybody see that? Mm -hmm. So now we're going to sit at another level where we, we're keeping, keeping him belly down. And one of the worst places to be in, in a judo match is if you're belly down and you can't you can't see out of the back of your head. You can't even have eyes back there. And, but your opponent can see you and everything you do. You can't see what he's doing. All you can see is the mat. And that's not a very good view. It's not a very good view at all. So you want to be able to have a base, but if you're flat down there, or if somebody's flat down there, you take advantage of it. Okay? All right, so work on that. He's on elbows and knees, okay? I, I want to do a rodeo ride. I want to get his back in control because I want to go for that choke. Okay, I want to keep him. So here he is, down here. Now, turn sideways. So can, you, can you see here, if he's balled up real tight, I'm going to have to open him up. So I'm going to grab his belt. And I'm going to grab his, his jacket, the, the collar here, like this, but palms up, okay? It, it can curl more that way, okay? So I'm going I'm to I'm open him up. See, I just open the hole there, okay? Now, so I'm going to turn it sideways, right? Yeah, I open him up, open the hole, okay, hop on him. Now get your hooks in. Get both feet really, really strong in there, and I'm going to grab the lapels and hook him up. I'm going to get her right here. Okay, come on. So she's going to open him up. Yeah, open them up, get the hooks in, and she now she's just going to flatten them out. And look at it, 
you know you've got control over him. See, his feet are up in the air. That's what we want. He, his feet are now useless to him. And that's what we want to happen. He, that, he can't get up on a good base again. Okay? Now from there, she can start digging in for a choke. Uh, yeah, she starts getting a choke in. Yeah, she, she goes for the choke. Okay? One more time. Okay. Right, so she has just a second, just a second. Okay, she opens them up. Go ahead. Opens them up. Hook, get the hooks in. Flatten them out. And then she go for the choke. That's what we call get the hooks in. The hooks are both your legs and your hands and arms. Your legs. Here's the drill we're going to do. This is a good drill. This is keep the back drill. Keep your hooks in drill. What do you want to call it? Michaela's job here on Jake is she's going to get her hooks in, both with her feet and legs, and with her hands and arms. Okay. Now, Jake's going to start rolling around. She's going to keep rolling him around too, and she's never going to let go of his back. She's going to roll all different directions. She's going to stay there the whole time. Okay. Good. All right. Come on back up, guys. Now, the idea there is because if Michaela's doing this and Jake has some fight in his heart, and anybody doing judo does, he's not going to lay there and let her choke him. He's going to try to resist and roll around. And so she's got to learn to stay on there. That's what we call it the rodeo ride because she's riding him like a big old. He's a big horse, okay? All right. Everybody got that? The bucky horse. Okay, let's go get it. All right.